Hi, St. Gregory students. It's Miss Arsenault, and guess where I am? I'm actually in the art room at the school. I have missed my art room, so I thought for this project, making your own clay, I would just come here and do the video. Um, so we feel like we're back in school. Um, what you need to make clay, now some of you probably have made maybe your own kind of clay, because I know a lot of people like to make the slime. It's about taking ingredients, mix them together and seeing what happens. You know, they change, they work well together, certain things and, you know, and how, what they become. So the main ingredient you need is cornstarch. And most people have these things at home because of cooking. So cornstarch, white vinegar, baby oil, and I just got a little thing because you just need like a tablespoon. It's like a soft clay that we're making. Some um, hand lotion, which is just something I had at home. I didn't even, it didn't say any particular kind. Um, wax paper for sure, and then definitely a bowl. You need a bowl. Um, you can go ahead and pull out your measuring um, items, like, you know, a cup, um, and then your tablespoon, teaspoons, and then you definitely need glue, um, just Elmer's glue. So what we're gonna do is first measure um, a cup and a half of the cornstarch. So I've already actually poured it into this bowl, as you can see. And then you're gonna take a cup, a whole cup of glue, so I'm gonna take off the lid, pour this glue in here. It takes a lot of glue, but that's what holds it together, that glue and that cornstarch. Making noises. So I'm gonna get that in here. Now I don't have a whole, you know, um, cup yet. So I can take another one if I needed. Um, I'm going to take another one and kind of just finish it because it's almost to the top. Ah, there was one everywhere. So, now you really feel like if your glue starts hitting you. Okay, so I have a cup of glue. I'm going to put this in here. And then I'm going to start mixing it. It's going to get messy because you are making clay. And, you, you know, art is messy. So, I'm going to take my finger, get all the glue out. And you're gonna mix it up. I mean, if you'd rather get a spoon or something, that's fine. I, um, I'm just gonna use my hands. And you're just gonna start mixing that up because that whole, you have to really mix well. It's gonna stuck to my hands. Um, but the more that you're mixing around this cornstarch, it is soaking up that glue. So it's becoming like, see, it's kind of a chunky now. So the, I have to keep doing it, keep doing it. So I'm just gonna mix, mix, mix. And you can see, look, it's like a chunk now. It's not like a powdery, because um, baking soda is very powdery. It kind of looks like flour, if you want to say. But look, I'm just mixing it and mixing it and mixing it. I've only used one hand, so then I don't have to worry about the other hand being all messy if I needed to get something. So I'm pushing it down, just like, you know, if you were taking it and then holding it up. But look, it's like a whole chunk now. Now, the other thing is like to work it, you almost do it like if you were making pie dough. Not that, you know, you guys probably all made pie dough before, but when you make something like with flour and pie dough, you put flour down, you put the dough and you knead it. Well, this time you're just gonna take the baking soda, put a little bit on wax paper on your table or your counter, you know, make it sure it's like spread out so it keeps it from sticking. Okay, so once I did that, look, I have that going. You definitely would then need to mix in your vinegar I'm not going to take it out yet, but I'm going to put in my vinegar. Now, the vinegar is only one tablespoon, so it's not a lot. Like I said, when I'm one hand, it's very messy, but that's okay. So, I'm going to take the one tablespoon, mix that in. Then, I'm going to take um, one teaspoon of lotion and one tablespoon of the baby oil. Um, you know, the vinegar smells, like you'll have a kind of interesting smell. It's not horrible or anything. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the, um, look, I can actually just pull off my hands too. Okay, so I'm gonna take the um, tablespoon again. I'm gonna put baby oil. Now mine's brand new, so get the lid off. Okay, so I'm gonna put a tablespoon of the baby oil. Then I'm gonna do a teaspoon of lotion. Again, just you know, just pumping this into this little teaspoon thing. 
and put that in there. And then just again, mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. The baby oil and the lotion are gonna make it really soft, very soft. Look, look at my, my clay already. Now this clay is a type of clay that it will air dry hard. So once it, you know, you, once you gotta form it before you let it dry, otherwise you're, you know, you won't, um, it won't be able to use it after, once it dries. But I mean, look at this. You just keep working it. Now I said you'd put the, some of the um, baking soda on the table. I can set it here and just smoosh it down flat, pick it up. Oh my gosh, it feels so soft. Look at this, love it, love it, love it. They don't eat this because it won't taste good. It's not edible. But look at this, it's just beautiful. It feels so good. That's why I like doing clay every year at one time because it feels good in your hands. And it's like therapy. You can like squeeze it. It just, I mean, every every single student, if, even if a student doesn't like to draw, there's students that don't, you know, enjoy painting. Everybody likes clay because clay just feels so good when you're doing this. So now you can keep doing this. Again, putting it on that um, baking soda. The baking soda makes it feel so soft when it's mixing with this. But look, I'll keep mixing it. Now it is totally mixed. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now there's different things you can do with it. You could roll it out with a roller. Again, if you're afraid of it sticking, have a little bit of ba um, baking soda. Roll it out. Take some, um, you know, cookie cutters. Cut out if you want to make some ornaments. Because again, it's going to dry hard. Or you could take it, like I might take it, spread it out, put some texture on it. Find something that makes texture. Um, bubble wrap member would make texture. You know, doilies if you had, lace. Um, it makes a really pretty texture. Um, just anything you want. Flower impression, take leaves and press in it so you have leaves. Um, I was looking around the room here. But um, what we could do is lay it out. And another thing that's really cool is say maybe you lay it out, put some texture to it, and if it's a circle, get a circle, lay it over a bowl so it forms down, like lay, it relaxes down on top of the bowl. So if this bowl was upside down, I could lay it over here. So when it hardens and dries and hardens and you take it off, it's sitting upside down like a bowl. That could be a great gift for mom, even though mom's helping you probably right now. That would be a really cool Mother's Day gift for mom. Um, I am gonna take this home and, and make it into something. Um, cause I have to, you want to let it like about 20 minutes, get itself together. I love this. Oh my gosh. It feels so good. I could keep doing this all day. Anyway, um, you can probably add some food coloring to it to give it a little bit. Now, again, it may get on your hands, but you know, it's food coloring. It's not going to hurt you or wash off, but, um, or put gloves on before you do it, but to change colors. But this is just a white clay. Look at this. I could roll, I could take some apart, roll it into a ball like we've done, press it down. You know, like, and then make, and again, if it starts to stick, like once you've done this, once you have this main part, you can go wash your hands. Like this hand has a lot stuck to it because that's where I started. You know, I had that in the beginning. Um, I'm peeling that some of off, but I could go wash my hands. It'll come right off and then work with it on clay. I would love to see what you make with this. Mostly if it's a gift for somebody, I love, that's what I, most of my art I ever do, guys, is for somebody else. Cause that's, it just makes me feel good to make something for somebody. Well, um, again, <laughs> I hope to see pictures, videos, whatever you want to do. And I love being back in the art room. Miss you guys. Talk to you soon.